Hey, this is Wooly. If you're looking to hit Pedigree 9 and unlock the Racing Chocobo Mask in as little time as possible, then this is the guide for you. If you're not sure how to unlock the Gold Saucer and Chocobo Racing, it's super easy and I've got a video linked in the description below that walks you through it. Additionally, if you're not familiar with the basics of Chocobo Racing, like what each attribute does or what your ranking means, I've got a video that covers all of that linked below as well. Before we get started, I just want to make one thing clear. Unlocking the Racing Chocobo Mask is a grind. There's no quick, done-in-an-hour method to get a Pedigree 9 Chocobo. You're inevitably going to have to do a lot of races, the amount of which will depend partially on your RNG luck with stats. This might sound daunting, but there's one very big upside. Chocobo racing is legitimately fun. Not only is racing itself fun, but while you're ranking up, your chocobo will also be accruing lots of Manderville gold points, which can be spent on glamours, music, hairstyles, and awesome mounts. Now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at your chocobo. All starter chocobos have the same base stats, pedigree one with two stars and everything. Additionally, your chocobo only has one race ability slot. It's not until pedigree 2 that your chocobo gets a slot for their hereditary ability. At this point, you can buy a race ability for your chocobo with MGP and train them with the race chocobo trainer NPC, or you can save the MGP and just start racing, as at rank 10 your chocobo will learn a random ability. If that ability isn't helpful, you can spend 10 MGP on a lathe water to make them forget it, and then when they rank up again they'll learn another one. You can keep doing this until your chocobo learns an ability you're happy with. The fastest way to gain experience points and rank up your chocobo, however, is with the racing ability Dressage 3. Dressage 3 increases the experience points your chocobo gains by a whopping 30%. This means even if you finish second or third, you'll still be getting more experience points than if you finished in first place without Dressage. The downside is that aside from the experience bonus, the ability doesn't help you in races. If you're struggling to place high in the races, then you can swap Dressage for another ability to eke out the win, like Choco Cure if you're running out of stamina, or Choco Dash if you're being out-accelerated early and struggle to catch the pack. It should also be noted that Dressage 3 has no impact on how much MGP you receive per race, so if you're not finishing first but relying on the extra experience from Dressage, you'll be accumulating less MGP over time. Ultimately, the goal here is to get the Racing Chocobo Mask in as little time as possible, but if the MGP is very important to you, then you can feel free to not run Dressage when you're not already placing first. Pedigree 9 will just take a little more time. But you know what doesn't take a lot of time? Sigoli Road. Sigoli Road is the shortest of the three race tracks, and it's the one I recommend you race on exclusively for the purpose of grinding out the mask in the least time possible. This isn't just because it's slightly shorter than Costa del Sol, and significantly shorter than Tranquil Paths. It's because once you start hitting around R100 racing class, you'll start seeing some track hazards appear on Sigoli. These hazards are pretty easy for you, as a player with a human brain, to avoid, but the NPCs really struggle with them. And anything you can do to make the NPCs' lives harder is going to make your life easier. That said, like all advice in this guide, you're absolutely free to ignore it. If you find yourself getting really bored of Scully, try out the beaches of Costa del Sol, or take a hike on the Tranquil Paths racetrack. As you race and gain experience, your chocobo will rank up. Each time your chocobo ranks up, its stats also improve semi-randomly. Sometimes RNG is not kind to your chocobo, and, for example, you end up with too many points in acceleration, and very few in stamina. My advice to you initially is to try and wait a rank or two and see if your bird evens out before spending gil or MGP, but sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. Three types of food are available to you. If possible, buy rank 1 food from the Tack and Feed Trader, or rank 2 food from the NPC and Bent Branch instead of spending MGP on rank 3 food. You might need the MGP later. How much you want to spend on training is entirely up to you. The more you spend, the faster the process will likely go. Food can also be crafted with the culinarian job, or bought on the market board. So you've got a few races under your belt, and you're starting to shoot up the ranks. Rank 20, rank 30, rank 40, rank 50. <laughs> Don't go past 40. Rank 40 is the earliest rank that you can retire your chocobo and still use it to breed. Unless this is already a pedigree 9 chocobo that you intend to keep and race with, there is no reason to ever go beyond rank 40. Nothing you gain will be passed on to your chocobo's fledglings. There's just no reason to do it. So you hit 40, and you're ready to retire your starter chocobo. Your next chocobo is going to have two ability slots. One of those abilities can be trained with manuals, or earned randomly through ranking up, but the other is your hereditary ability that is passed on from one of your fledgling's parents. Make sure that the ability you want passed down to your next chocobo is currently equipped on your starter chocobo. I don't recommend using dressage as a hereditary ability, however, because that's one you want to be able to swap out if your chocobo is underperforming in the races. Personally, I stick with Cure 2 or Dash 2 most of the time. But your ability isn't the only thing being passed down. The star ratings of each fledgling's grandparents determine that fledgling's own ratings. For a more detailed look at the process, check the chocobo racing guide that covers all the basics linked in the description below. But for our purposes, it's mostly just important to know to avoid breeding one-star chocobos, 
especially if that one star falls on maximum speed or stamina. You can get away with one star cunning or acceleration, but if your chocobo has only one star in stamina, you're going to have a frustrating time. If you buy a covering and the RNG gods decide to give it garbage stats with no chance of a decent star rating on your fledgling, I recommend just eating the cost and buying a new covering. If this is prohibitive because you don't have enough MGP, then just do a few gates or more races. Which brings us to our next tip. If you're getting bad luck with coverings or find yourself low on MGP, start doing the gates that occur every 20 minutes in the Gold Saucer. Gates, or Gold Saucer Activated Time Events, operate similarly to Fates and reward you with a large amount of MGP for what is typically just a few minutes of work. If you can get into a rhythm of racing and then picking up the occasional gate, then you won't risk running out of MGP. You can also play minigames like Cuffaker, which conveniently has a machine right in Chocobo Square, to gain MGP between races. The amounts are smaller than the 4,000 you might win from a gate, but over time they add up. So let's briefly go over the points we've covered so far. Dressage 3 will help you reach Pedigree 9 a lot faster. Train with Feed, only when you need to. Sagoli Road is your track. Shorter race time and hazards that hurt NPCs. Never rank past 40. Don't breed chocobos with only one star in stamina or max speed. Pad your MGP wallet with gates and minigames between races. In summary, run Dressage 3 when it's advantageous to do so. If you can still place high with only one race ability available to you during the race, run Dressage. Run your races on Sigoli Road until your chocobo hits rank 40, at which point you retire them. Then you can buy a covering from the race chocobo trainer. If that covering has trash stats, toss it and buy another one. Go breed your chocobo, wait 30 minutes, and register your new fledgling. If your new chocobo got unlucky and has only one star in stamina or max speed, retire it immediately, buy a new covering, and breed it again. Your retired chocobo can be bred with a covering up to 10 times. Once you have a fledgling chocobo with decent stats, rinse and repeat. Do gates and minigames as needed to make sure you have enough MGP. I hope this has answered any questions you might have had about getting the racing chocobo mask. I also hope that, in the process of grinding out this mask, you'll enjoy chocobo racing as much as I do. I stream on Twitch, so come by and challenge me to a race. If I'm not live, I've also got a link to our Discord in the description below. Please also subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified when new videos are posted. It also helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Until next time, happy racing.